What is up guys, Aces Frost here from the Aces Clan and welcome to my weekly upload. Here I am playing Safeguard on Hunted using my Razorback with Rapid Fire, Grip, and Quick Draw. Either Quick Draw or Quick Draw or Fast Mag, whichever one. Um Safeguard is actually the best game mode to go if you want to drop some high kills. I think the highest amount of kills, which is not that high. I think I could have done more, but we were actually started lagging halfway through the game. I think I dropped 78 kills and had like 23 deaths or something like that, which is all right. It's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I think one, that was like one of the highest amount of kills I've ever dropped in a Call of Duty game play because I don't really, I'm always playing the objective, so I said, since I told one of my members of the AC Club, I was like, since uh, we played a lot of played a lot of um, um, clan clan matches in the Advanced Warfare era, which was last year, and we won eight of those because we didn't. A lot of stuff came up halfway through the season, and we didn't play to the beginning of that season, and we didn't play. We started play the first eight games of the season. I think it was like 16 or 20 games. And we stopped there. So I told my friend, I was like, "Hey, dude, uh, I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna be playing OBJ player anymore. I mean, I want to get some kills because he obviously he's pretty good. He's a pretty good player, but he wasn't getting. I think his like every game battle or every clan match, his amount of kills was like 20 or 30, which wasn't a lot. So I was like, I'm a, in Black Ops 3, gonna be playing. I'm gonna be playing. I'm gonna be playing Slayer this time and." Now when we play it's me, one of my clan members, and two really, really pretty good guys that we play and we know from school and we play a lot and we honestly dominate. We I think I got played with them. No, I played with one of my played with one of my clan members and got my we started off the game not worrying about KDs or win lose ratios. My win lose ratio was like a one point something at the beginning start of Call of Duty Black Ops 3, but I didn't play in lobby or play in good lobby for life. So I was, was like the only person on the team going positive or my team would leave and I'm the only person playing against the other team. So we, I think my game, no, my um, win lose ratio went down to a point 50 or something like that. And we played a day, we played all day Saturday we just play safeguard, 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 hardcore. I think hardcore dumb. Search and destroy. We play safeguard, hardcore, search and destroy. We just fooled around on search and destroy. And we got my win lose ratio from a point fifty to a point seventy in like five hours or something like that. And my KD up from over like a. It went down because I was trying to do. I don't know what I was thinking when I was doing stuff. With my guns, like I wasn't trying like really hard, but I was still playing OBJ players. So I was like down to a KD like a 1.1 1 .1 or 1.2, which is actually it's decent in Black Ops 3. Because Black Ops 3 is believe it or not hard as heck. I understand and I love the fact that Black Ops 3 actually gives everybody a chance to have fun. Black Ops 3 is not overpowered. I mean, some guys that you're gonna obviously see during the games, they've been in every Call of Duty. They will try hard to crap out of you, and they will dominate you. They will have you going zero and twenty really, really quick. But Black Ops Three gives you the chance. Well, um, so we see this guy's not that good. We're gonna put, um, let's put a level thousand guy on his team. Let's put a level thousand guy on the other team. Let's see how they have, and that actually makes you feel really, really good. Like, oh, I can compete now because you're all balanced out, and that's just really a really, really good feature that was added into this. And here, I think my, my gameplay was decent here. It wasn't one of my best gameplays. I think my, like I said, my highest number of kills was, I think, 80 in a Call of Duty or 78, something like that, in Call of Duty. And I think my best ever gameplay was when I went 65 and 5 or 65 and 6 or something like that. And I was playing, what was it, Advanced Warfare Hardpoint, and that was one of my best games ever, which is decent i mean i have done a lot of cool stuff like dropping nuclear in black ops 3 all that um i will be posting a lot of 
like small gameplays like this. This is obviously not small. I think this gameplay has gotten up to like 20 minutes in length. And at the end of 15 minutes, I won't be commentating anymore. I'll just like get some music play. So you can watch to finish up the gameplay. Um, this video, this safeguard gameplay was like actually so long because we ended up going to overtime. I honestly had to split it into like three videos just to put it into one because they only have like a 15 minute max recording. Which didn't bother me at all because I still played. All I did was like take a break, which you won't be able to see because I did incognito mode on my phone, which sent it to my PlayStation, where I, where all I did was take it and I pressed record and it started recording all over again, which is pretty, pretty, really cool. So I don't have to end the game, start, uh, stop the game, stop playing, get shot up, and having to stop and press record again, which has happened to me a lot. Um, I just want to talk about what goes through my mind while playing. When I'm playing, like matches like this, what was I thinking? I was thinking, get a kill and run, because honestly, people spawn. I love the fact that on safeguard they spawn on one spawn, because that is the best, best, best possible way to spawn a trap. That is my favorite thing about Safeguard. That's why I played a lot that is going to get you all your kills. You just have to memorize, okay, this guy, he spawned right there, and now he's going to spawn right here. And you just have to know when to rush, when to not to rush. In this gameplay, this is honestly a rush and no rush gameplay because I was getting killed a lot. I didn't see a lot of stuff. I got killed a lot. I mean, I think I'm like 50 and 20 or something like that. But honestly, this safeguard is the best game made to go if you want to just drop. You just want to keep going, get kills, get kills, get kills, get kills. score streaks, get kills, get kills. Um, I wouldn't promise that you will drop a score streak. Like, I don't think in this video, I think I dropped only a UAP. Didn't get a challenge or nothing because I didn't do a lot of staying back, uh, staying behind cover tactic. I just ran out, shot whoever I could. Double kills, triple kills, died, restarted the whole process over again. So yeah, that that's actually that was actually better than just trying to, because things get kind of slow after you get like 20 kills, no deals. They get kind of slow because you're running out of the booze. You have to find somebody's gun. You get killed. You're like, oh crap, oh crap. And I, I don't think you just want to see a video with just pure no gunfight. You like this guy. This guy just get got his sports tricks from a care package, and I haven't seen him shoot his gun yet, which I don't want to do at all. I just want to show you some average player, your average Call of Duty player gameplay. Yeah. My, what I do when I'm playing in matches like this, you might not have seen it, but I'll do a video on this also, is I do a run pattern. I will rush and you see at the beginning of this game, if you remember, I actually went this route during the beginning of the game. I think I either got shot off the map or something like that because I joined late. So I run a route. I will run like, if I say I'm going to rush the right side, I will run a right side spawn. I will run it. This, I will start off from right. I will start off from my spawn to the right side of the map and make my way all the way all around to the right side. Kill as many people as I can, cut through the middle of the map, back to my spawn and run the right side again. And I would just run that little loop over and over and over again until eventually the teammate, they uh, in start to camp and they're like, you're not getting through here. And they start to like team up on me. And every time I ram around, I get killed and start a new route. Left side, left side or middle. Doesn't matter. As long as I'm running around, I'm pretty good in Call of Duty. This gameplay was actually my first game when I, when I came back because I forgot. I have to play Call of Duty. My aim that night was horrid. That was the worst. I think a baby could have beat me that day. That was the worst shooting I've ever seen in my Call of Duty history. So what I did, I quit the game, stopped playing the games, stopped playing game mode because I tore my KD down to like a 1.20 again. It was like a 1.30. Tore that down to a 1.20. I tore my win-lose ratio down from 1.70 back to 1.60, which was really, really, really sucked. It really, really, that really made me mad. So I put 18 bots on Newtown, the small map. He helps me get my aim better because I know what they're spawning. Well, I didn't know what they were spawning because I had 18 bots, which is the most bots I've ever seen in Call of Duty. 
against free for all. So everybody's just dying, and I'm working on my aim. And that really, I put it on the score streak to unlimited and the time limit to unlimited just so I could keep going and to keep getting my streaks and keep you knowing. Remember, okay, you can't just wiggle your gun around when you're shooting. You got to keep this thing centered right in the middle of your screen and let them run to your crosshairs. Because when they run when they run down and I'm ADS, it's all game over. So like that double kill. That's it's all over right there. Um I will be doing a road to diamond. I just want to say this before I quit commenting. I will be doing a road to diamond and then a road to black matter videos. I will be doing up live streams during the weekends. I don't think I will be doing I will only be doing those during the weekends, like maybe Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays, or maybe just Fridays and Saturdays, and I would do a gun. I would do one gun an episode. So, if I would say I was doing, I think I'm doing my next video. I already uploaded one video, and that was XR2, and I did not finish it in that one clip. So what I would do, because it was so late at night, and I was like, I don't want to be streaming at two o'clock in the morning. So. I cut off my camera, I cut off my live stream at 1, I started at 12, and I cut it off at 1, and I was like, okay, I'm going to just do this by myself, so, and I got the gun go, which I will be put maybe putting a picture in at the end of this gameplay, and I will be showing you the XR2 gold, so, that was just, I think that was my first assault rifle gold, and I think I have the weaver gold, so I have one assault and one, uh, sub, and I like doing different guns. I'm not gonna like it took me I was not that motivated of a player in Black Ops 3 Black Ops 2 sorry excuse me Black Ops 2 to just work with one class I worked with that one submachine class it took me almost a year or two years or a year and a half just to get them diamond and then <laughs> this is the funny part about it. it took me almost a year and a half just to get those diamonds and then maybe a year later, I mean a month later, maybe two months later, I was hacked and I lost my diamond sub. So, so I was like, you know what? Um, I'm not gonna try that again. So I was like, I'm just getting every gun I touch gold. Every gun I like getting gold. And I'll be doing that. And I will be just doing a road to diamond. I will just keep doing that, keep doing that. I will do assaults one day. So my episodes will consist of one episode of gun. So I won't just be face focusing on one gun. So some people like, I don't want to see him do subs every time because I don't like the Pharaoh, I don't like the Weaver. So I'll be doing assaults, a certain assaults, certain different assaults and anything. And just to get a feel of how every gun works. Now the M8A1 is going to be my favorite when I do that episode. I don't have any attachments so I'm not going to start that one yet. But it's just going to be my favorite because I absolutely loved it in Black Ops 2. It was a beast and I loved that gun. So, with that said, I will be doing a Rose of Diamond gameplay every week. I mean, not even weekend, every weekend. I think on my next video, I think I've uploaded one video already, and that was getting the XR2 gold. I'm getting, going to do all my gold videos first, and then I will show the diamonds to Dark Matter, which I think I'll automatically get that. And I will be doing those, and then I will be showing you my Dark Matter gameplay. And Dark Matter is going to be coming. I, I will give myself into the month of May to have Dark Matter, because that's that's when school is out. So I'm going to be playing a lot more in May. So give me until May, and I should have my Dark Matter, because I had to balance out gaming and school as well as YouTube in one week. And I have to keep doing this, keep doing this, keep doing this. So, with that said, I'll be doing a Road to Diamond gameplay every every weekend. And just to keep you guys up to date, where, where are my guns and where are my gun stats? And yeah, guys, I will be also be doing, after I finish my Road to Road to Diamond gameplay, I'll be doing my Road to Golden Specialist gameplay, or whatever you want to call those guys, Heroic Gear, or whatever. But yeah, guys. This has been my commentation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, leave a like and subscribe. And leave a thumbs up, whatever you want to call it. Subscribe to the video. Thanks.
fight smarter. With these upgrades, you never stood a chance. Oh.